The Oliver Papoonge Heritage Park on Highway 61 will open for the season this long weekend. But the mayor of the municipality says her council will have some tough decisions to make about some of the buildings on the site, which have fallen into disrepair. Jonathan Wilson reports. The tourist attraction, formerly known as the Pioneer Village Founders Museum, will open for the season on Saturday under its new name, the Oliver Papoonge Heritage Park. The reason that the name was changed was just in consideration of some of the wordage that was used in the past and we wanted to work towards our reconciliation uh, and uh, we just felt that this would would be the best okay. to change those words. Oliver Papoon's Mayor Lucy Klusterhus says although they're excited to welcome visitors for another year, not all of the buildings will be available to the public due to structural issues. There are some buildings that may not or will not be open but they were not open last year either. As what we're looking at is we're getting an RFP out for some engineering studies to be done on these buildings. We have had our building inspector look at these buildings and uh, there's some structural items that are very severe and so we have to look at these before we can open the buildings. Klooster who says unfortunately the price tag to carry out all the required upgrades is more than her municipality can afford. We're looking at a little over 900,000 over 10 years if we open all of these buildings to the public. Now our conversation is what is the final cost going to be for each building, which buildings are going to remain here with the museum and which buildings are in such a depleted case that we're going to have to close them and remove them. The repairs to the general store and the village square add up to over $400,000, while the Pioneer home totals over $300,000, and Klusterhus believes they will have to be demolished. However, most of the other attractions are safe for the public to enter, including Russ's Garage, which had its grand opening last year, the old Conmy Schoolhouse, the Classic Church, the CP train station, and the Slate River Hall, which contains the Duke Hunt Museum. Klusterhus says she's committed to keeping the Heritage Park open for years to come and I think it's very important that the young persons of today come here and see, you know, what the past was like. Uh, we do have some schools already registered to come this summer and we're hoping that we can get more in this year and in the future. And the, as I mentioned before, the present museum board is very dedicated to seeing this open and seeing a lot of people come here. Jonathan Wilson, TBT News.